can, one of the things that we, we do fairly routinely, and it's not just for handicap placards, but all pen dot work, um, you know, any pen dot related issues, whether it's driver's licenses, registrations, placards, or, or anything else with pen dot, um, if you run it through our office or, or state rep or state senator's office, um, you can sort of ensure it's not going to get lost in the shuffle. Um, in uh, over at PennDOT, we have uh, dedicated employees at PennDOT that service just uh, you know House members' um, needs and, and our constituents' needs. So um, it's it's kind of a we keep track of it. You know, it goes directly from us. Um, a lot of times, I'm the courier when I go back and forth to Harrisburg. I'm taking folders worth of stuff up and back, um, and then uh, my secretary in Harrisburg make sure it gets right over into the hands directly of those at PennDOT, so that um, you know there's some accountability and some tracking that. Uh, paperwork doesn't get lost, and, and if there is a problem along the way, we can catch it uh, fairly quickly. So I um, certainly would encourage uh, any of you who are, who are interacting with seniors to uh, to try to steer any of their PennDOT requests to their local state representative or state senator, because it, it really can, I know folks get tied up on the telephone, they get tied up, you know, trying to call PennDOT and, you know, in kind of that push button land of, <laughs> of press one for here and press two for there. Well, you know, when you call our office, you know, one of us will pick up and, and ensure that we can, you know, track down the paperwork if it's, uh, if it's misplaced somewhere. So.